Yes, okay, okay, look, I know, I know, it's been a while, and I am sorry, but it's for a good reason, I swear. I've been busy. Preparing. Preparing for what? <laughs> That's you. Preparing for our new earthly paradigm brought about by CERN, invented in 1954 by the French and French-adjacent peoples. CERN stands for European Organization for Nuclear Research. Uh, somehow. You may only know CERN for their Large Hadron Collider, and when they discovered a theorized particle back in 2012, and everyone pretended to give a shit about particle physics for three months, but actually, CERN has been a big part of your life since the day you were born. Probably. Assuming you're under, like, 40. Which you probably are. The misinformation that the olds partake in is usually found on Facebook instead. Did you know that the World Wide Web was originally a CERN project? Undertaken due to the fact that the layout of the facility was designed by a series of deranged Swiss physicists and walking from the east area and going all the fuck way around to go say hi to Rad Matt is literally a 23 hour and 4 minute walk. Look at this shit. It looks like a Dark Souls map. The very first website, in fact, is just a site with info about CERN, demonstrating the glory of CERN technology. Behold! Okay, sure, it was more impressive in 1990, but the point still stands. CERN has its French fingers dug deep into all of our lives, and more importantly, deep into our reality. Have you noticed anything strange going on recently? I mean, you know, besides me uploading a video. I ask because recently the Large Hadron Collider has fired up to full speed yet again. What does the Large Hadron Collider do? You remember that game we all played as kids where we'd stand on opposite ends of a field and run full speed at each other and slam into one another until someone got a concussion? No? Yeah, I didn't think you would. Well, it's sort of like that. The SPS, I just decided that stands for Large Hadron Collider somehow, does exactly what it says on the box. It collides hadrons. Hadrons that are large? No, the collider is large. The hadrons are very, very small. God, you're dumb. Those concussions really did a number on you, man. You might be wondering, what effect could the SPS possibly have on the wider world? Well, the teenage experts on TikTok have cracked the code. I know that because these posts have been part of the few that drip through the cracks and end up on Twitter and Instagram. As a millennial, I was preemptively IP banned from TikTok. Even still, I've been able to piece together most of the puzzle. Two big goals at CERN are the stabilization of antimatter and the creation of interdimensional wormholes. We can chalk up the wormholes as a success already. I mean, look around. Hell has literally opened up beneath Europe. It's consistently 40 degrees Celsius in the UK. What, you think they're getting a lot of sun? Have you ever seen a picture of the UK? Have you ever talked to a British person? They don't know what the sun is. It's like polar night over there. But like, polar overcast, I guess. No. What's actually happening is a literal hell dimension has opened up a few kilometers beneath the Eurasian plate and is slowly rising up to the surface. The mole people from the tick have appeared and have been stealing automobiles from major cities as they learn about and adopt more and more of our technology in preparation for a hostile takeover, and Caesar's Legion has kickstarted the first battle of Hoover Dam. We got a lot of things to worry about from a lot of different dimensions. It's like that Spider-Man movie, but we're not even getting a single evil Willem Dafoe, so it sucks. The real kicker, though, is the antimatter tests. In 1995, CERN announced that they had successfully been able to create a few atoms of antihydrogen for very short periods of time, and in 2011, they were able to maintain three atoms of antihydrogen simultaneously for over 15 minutes. Hydrogen makes up about 10% of the human body, meaning if CERN can successfully stabilize a large amount of antihydrogen, they'll be one-tenth of the way to creating an anti-human. Once that's completed, they will effectively have brought the Antichrist... Er, uh, sorry, I'll reference something you're familiar with. They will have effectively brought the anti-spiral into our reality to usher in the end times. So what can you do to prepare for the coming apocalypse? You got a few options. Number one, be rich so you can afford to get on the super nuclear plane and just exist above all the issues that everyone else has to deal with. Number two, ignore it. Just keep going about your business, wake up, go to work, come home and be too drained to pursue things you're interested in, go to sleep and repeat. Number three, get your friends together, take some botany courses, and grow a really big squash or pumpkin or something that you can all live in together and will protect you from the coming storm and can take you to a far mystical land of peace and happiness, like James and the Giant Peach. But not really, I guess, because, I mean, they, they went to New York City. 
Anyway, in the meantime, I've got some catching up to do. A lot has happened in my time away, and I gotta decide what major event I need to educate the youth on. Let's see. World War III started. Oh, again? Well, that's no good. Elon Musk is buying Twitter. Okay, yeah, whatever. Roe v. Wade got fucking incinerated. American healthcare just keeps getting better, huh? Elon Musk is not buying Twitter. Wow, what a surprise. Persona 4 Arena still doesn't have rollback. I knew those fuckers were lying, man. <laughs>